Congratulations on this movie. It's such a fun time. Thanks, um, Caleb. My first question is probably the most important one, which is what is your favorite Beanie Baby? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I should have prepped myself for this question. I don't have one. I did. I wasn't a Beanie Baby person. Um, I, I, you know, I, I don't know. I do like, I, I don't, I think his name is Legs the Frog. Yes. Um, I think that's the one that I have probably handled the most in my uh, Beanie Baby uh, life. That's so fair. That's such a good choice. Um, you have such great chemistry with everyone in this movie, but I have to say, I think some of my favorite scenes are the ones with the family, with um, Sarah Snook and also Delaney Quinn and Madison Johnson. What was it like to sort of shoot those scenes um, and develop chemistry with all of them? I think develop. I think chemistry on camera is the hardest thing, you know, especially with children, right? You're, you're like... I'm playing someone that doesn't really know the kids, but I'm trying to charm the kids to charm the mother. So that's that's always tricky for me. But, uh, you know, you're always... A, I think Sarah is such a top, top actress that I think there's a comfort level there that... Uh, and, you know, I always have a confidence problem with my acting. I, I don't come from the schools that a lot of actors I get to work with or that don't, I don't have the training they do. I just don't. I used to tell diarrhea jokes in coffee houses and somehow I'm in movies. It doesn't make sense. I'll be the first to admit it. So when I'm surrounded by like really good quality actors like Elizabeth and Sarah, uh, it's helpful to me when they're kind and nice. <laughs> uh, but, but you, that's a tricky thing is to find that chemistry. And for me also to play charming is, is also difficult to, to try to find a charm that doesn't seem put on, even though I do feel like his charm was put on. I think there was a showmanship to his charm. So, uh, but, but. The chemistry with the family, Sarah definitely helped helped me with that stuff. Yeah, definitely. I think he's charming. I also think he's very eccentric. The yeah. detail that I really loved is his like love of chocolate milk. He's always drinking chocolate milk. Yeah. I'm curious, what was the thing that sort of helped you understand or get into his mindset? Uh, I mean, it, it almost sounds too easy, but in the book, there were passages about his childhood and his past. And also Zach Bassanet in the book also kind of revealed that a lot of toy makers have checkered bad childhoods. Mm. Um, so having known that about him, uh, you know, my little morning, Monday morning, uh, Carl Jung or, 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 or Freud kind of would try to play with what that meant in my own brain. Sometimes that'll bring uh, an uh Somebody can be narcissistic that comes from that. Sometimes they can be babies. They can, you know, they, 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 and they feel unprotected. And I think Ty was someone that felt unprotected at his core. And I think he built this world around him to feel uh, yielded uh, for the rest of the world. But that's just me. That's just my little psychological so I can help try to figure out the character. No, I think that that definitely makes a lot of sense. Um, I have to wrap now, but it was so great speaking to you and I'm so excited for everyone to see the movie. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. 